What's up guys, Sangre Bishop here. With season 9 just around the corner, I thought I would do a little video to just help out the other people to build a break. So today, we're going to do build a bow with Bishop. Be fun! Who knows? <laughs> so, here we are. This. So, we're going to do a break today. A break in team. Now, it's not going to be meta build. You know, there's people out there are going to say, oh, it's wrong. It's not how you build a bow. Blah, 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 blah. But this is just a general guide for those new players that are going to be coming into Season 9 who want to know how to build a boat. So once you have your brick frame, obviously, the most important, you do the top, and you do the middle deck, like that. But you don't need the bottom deck, you don't need anything else, that's it. Now, the first thing I do is sails. It's just so much easier to start from front to back. It's the best way to do it. It looks goofy if you have one that's like uh, a jumper style, you know, you don't, you don't want that. Just start from the front, take your time. There we are, see, easy peasy. Then what I normally do is this part here like this. Now this is a bit complicated, but you'll, you'll get the hang of it. So do a ramp like that. I'll do a doorway, so you press T, you get a doorway like this. Now this. Yep, sometimes it works for <laughs> Then I'll put a ceiling down here like that. I mean, there is there is much better builds out there. People probably say, oh no, you should be doing an open deck, a closed deck, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to, you don't have to, I mean, it's your boat. It's your design. That's what's amazing about Atlas is that you can design your boat however you wish, you know. With the ammo box, I kind of keep it close with, sorry, the big box i usually keep it close with this just so you can do like a quick swap i mean it's not perfectly lined to be honest if you want to be all fancy and wancy you can do that then i'll do a storage box here like this for uh for everything else you know like your hammers and stuff like that. right now i'm gonna go and throw the planks on so i do gun ports first it's just easier so you don't over them And yeah. That's some extras there that we're gonna need. You'll have an extra bed as well. Uh let me do the swivels. The other probably the hard part, which is the, the cannon placement. A lot of people can be a bit particular about this. You can use like a ladder and stuff like that, but we're not I'm just trying to give you a general build. Um, if you want, I mean, I'd advise this if you can, is this, then do a, then do a campfire here. You put a campfire here. The reason you do a campfire is because you can buck it into a campfire. It doesn't have to be lighted or anything like that. You can buck it straight into a campfire if you're leaking. Or All right, guys. So, just like a quick low. No. Oh, no. You've lost the plank. You're leaking. Okay? Panic. No, don't panic. You're not going to... If you've lost a plank, you're not going to be able to place it for a couple seconds. So what you need to do is keep going. Make sure you keep the captain on the wheel. And the repair person, just, you know, just for a couple seconds, depending on how many planks you've lost. I mean, let, let, let's be realistic. If it's a good good break you're facing, you know, you're going to lose a couple. So let's do, let's do three. So, oh, no, you can't replace them, right? First thing I would do is just get down here with a bucket and throw it into the campfire. Now, you want to hit the green, obviously, you know? But look at this. I can do this for all day. As long as I'm keeping the water down, this bow is fine. So this will give the chance for the captain to get out of the area and make sure he's safe. And then you'll be able to replace the planks. See, you can just do this all day, all day. Like, three planks. We could, we could take six planks off if we would, you know? You're going to be fine. This works on all boats, galleys. Uh, I'm not sure about the mod boats though. They're a bit, they're a bit meh. You like? Oh no! You can just sit and do this for as long as you want. Look at the ship health up at top right. Not even moving. It's 
fine. No. Now, steering wheels, that's up to you, how you want to do it. A lot of people like to build like a little box. Me, I, I am not that probably. I like to have it open so that I can get off the wheel quickly. So what I'll do is I'll do this design. That with the stairs and then all the steering wheel in the middle. Plus it's just, it's it, to me it's nicer. I can jump off, you know, check for SODs, check the level of them and stuff like that. You will be able to be protected, like it'll help you. It's kind of like a box, but not perfect. So use it. Perfect. Do that. Right, now, the shotgun side. Okay, so this is how you do the shotgun. So a lot of people are very... There's different variants, okay? There is 3 below, 4 below, and 5 on top, 3 on bottom, like that. It's entirely up to you. Me, personally... I do three on bottom, five on top. That's just my personal opinion. Um, it's just so much easier. Now, it might not be perfect, but this will give you a general guide on how to do this. Here, make sure. What's that gump? Yeah. Well, these will start here and in there like that and then I'll put the other one there and I'm sorry for all you guys that are like the mega chads out there that this is not perfect but this is just it's just for the little guy you know you guys are going to be starting out next season they don't know the whole build and then you'll do a little box around your shotgun area. And this will protect it. Obviously you need your door okay, so you can get in and repair your cannons and stuff. Do that like that. Back up and do another ramp like that. Uh. Yeah. You put a little roof on here. Keep the guys all cozy. And I don't have a door. Put on me, but I'll put it there. For swivel placement, oh. it's very difficult. Um, because of this box, you know, some people can get here and throw nades over to you. So, this is what. Uh, that way, if someone gets behind Freddy over there. They're going to get shot. Uh, your swivels, make sure you set them right. I do them as only pathfinders. Make sure you do uh, high range. Uh, I don't know if this is actually true or not, but some people claim it is. Setting your cannons to high. I don't know. I don't know. I've never noticed a difference. But yeah, whack a door on here. But wait. Wait is really important in Alice. If you're slower than the enemy, then you're kind of screwed. Right, so that's that. Obviously, I didn't do that, like, beautifully, but you can walk around with that. And that's it. That's the shotgun build. It's not perfect. A lot of people argue it's horrible. It needs to be moved over a little bit, or the can needs to be there like that. But you get the general idea of what it looks like and how to do it. Um... I mean, I maybe have it one up further, maybe, I don't know, it's, but to me, that's just, seems okay. Seems perfect to me. And, uh, joke, but that's it, that's it, guys. That's really it. That's it, it's not perfect. But like I said, it's for the new players that are coming into Season 9. And, yeah, next we'll do a, a schooner and a galley. Galley is going to be very uh, <laughs> nitpicky, but that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.